Hey guys, okay, so uh, a little bit tired. This is probably my third video of the night, um, but I decided that I would explain a little bit about post and get variables. Um, this is concerning PHP. Uh, it's, well, not particularly with PHP, but I'm going to show you with PHP how to get post and get variables. Uh, essentially, you may be wondering what are post and get variables. So if you don't know, um, most forms that you have online, like for, you know, forms where you have to enter your first name and your last name, like customer information, uh, before ordering in a order uh, in a cart or whatever, um, requires the PHP coder to take the data. So you put the data into the form, you click submit, and obtain that data to be saved into, for example, a text file or a database. Um, so essentially, it's important for a PHP programmer to understand post and get variables. Uh, so probably the easiest way is to show you by example. So take a look at my desktop here and I'm logged into my server right now, uh, test directory, and I'm going to edit using my favorite text editor, Nano, the hello world.php file. All right, so as you know, PHP uh, requires you to start with the PHP tag and I hope you could see this later on and you close with that tag as well and essentially there are two types of uh, variables as I said that you can use you can use the post variable and you can uh, also use the text variable so coming back to let's start with the simple one uh, not text variable sorry the get variable all right so the get variable looks like this there's a little underscore there, get. Now the get variable is really an array. So normally you need to know what the array is, the name of the array. So for example, uh, let's just let's just let's just um, index. Let's just put the index here as uh, test maybe. All right. Uh, close there. Okay. Uh, so we save that into the test variable. You can save it whatever whatever name you want for the test variable and then we echo the test variable out to the browser so that we see the result and that's just a, a breaker a break in space right um, so nothing too fancy here let me just show you what this looks like so I save this now let's say that you were on this website here the get variable allows you to put in something like this so test which is same as the index that we just entered is equal to on, for example. Ah, did you notice now that on was retrieved? Looking back at the code here, you'd see that it echoed dollar sign test, which was this part here, on. And basically what the test, what the get variable does is it's part of the URL, as you notice, it's part of the actual URL. Um, and that's a bit different from the post variable. The post variable actually uses header information. For those of you who don't know what the header information is, the header information is uh, responses by the actual web server. So it's not it's not necessary. It's not seen by the browser per se. It isn't used in the HTML part. It's before the HTML response. Um, that in order for me to show you that, I would have to do. Uh, a form so let's say for example let's make a form and the form could be in normal HTML post. so we are posting and we can post to ourselves, that's fine. Closing off the form, we'll add, you know, like maybe a text. Yeah. Call it test. Type would be text. Close bracket. And now we'll add some PHP here to the end. So as long as you submit, actually we forgot the submit here. So I'll just put in input type equals submit 
value could be whatever you want it to be I just say submit okay and here now we want to set the variable test as post post test and what that will do is similar to what the get variable did but in this case you don't actually see it you won't actually see it in the URL cool save that there and now we test it form.php hopefully I didn't make any errors good so here we, we are asked to put in some text here we submit it to itself oops I think I made a mistake all right so let's check back here oh action action is actually the it's method method is post right good straight back Yes, so we need to reload okay on submit ah okay good see so when we submitted the form the page reloaded the 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 variable information here that was in here was saved in the header and as it was saved in the header the PHP code was executed and was able to pull back the information I hope that makes some sense to you guys um, now the cool thing is that you know sometimes you now this is not sanitized and I have to ex explain what san sanitizing means uh, sanitization means um, essentially this code could allow possibly uh, injection attacks so by no means should you just leave your post whatever is input into this variable here you should do some cleaning so for example you could create a function that cleans out strange characters that could cause um, hackers to attack your website but I'm not going into much details on how to sanitize and how to clean today um, I want to go ahead though and show you a neat trick uh, it's not really a trick it just allows you to to see all the post variables so let's just say that I didn't know that this was the index here this test was the name of the index what we could actually do is we could print we could actually print the array of the post variable and in similar you could also print the array of um, the get variable so uh, let me show you what I mean okay so the array came back empty uh, but when we had on you notice that test was the index and on which is uh, which is going to be helpful for you when you have to you know debug your um, information uh, let's do the same thing with hello world for example so let's say that I had to edit hello world and instead of actually defining which index if I wanted to debug I could have just printed the entire array get and that would allow me to see this check this out okay so nothing there array empty I could put anything here I could put um, index equal one it would show index equal one I could put unsign um, name equal uh, John and you notice that it, it spits out back what was being input and that's cool when you have to do some debugging so I hope you guys understand a little bit more about get and post variables and how you can use it because essentially uh, you could use whatever data you get here into your MySQL commands uh, which will require you to of course know more about the MySQL functions in PHP uh, so thanks again uh, make sure to subscribe to my video uh, and the, my YouTube channel and stay tuned for more updates bye